Pretty good, I gotta say. Good, good. Glad to hear it. So why don't we just start off by um, talking about your history, background. Tell us about yourself. Absolutely. I migrated to this country in the early 90s. Lived in so many type of neighborhoods you don't want to even imagine. Gang neighborhoods. We dealt with a lot of poverty in our neighborhood as well. I mean, sometimes there was times where we couldn't pay the rent, domestic violence. My dad was always drinking, abusing us. And it pretty much I hit rock bottom when my dad left us. And I was pretty much alone. And that's when it hit me. Wow. Well, thanks, thanks for being open and sharing that with us so we can really see where you're coming from. Yeah, we appreciate that. Um, so why don't you tell us how you came up with the website, InspireYourMind.org. Absolutely. Inspire Your Mind actually started with the, one of my speeches I started with, Inspire Your Mind, Inspire Others. And the way I came up with that is I was in a relationship, we were in love, and pretty much taking the next level. And pretty much things hit rock bottom. I felt like the world just collapsed and crumbled in so many ways. And just question God and why does this happen to me? So just like any person there, I was looking for some type of motivation, inspirational, and YouTube was definitely my key. Checked out Les Brown, Eric Thomas, and that's when it came up with Inspire Your Mind. Well, it's a great site. I'm actually looking at it here right now, so you can check it out. Um, I do see here on the About tab that you have uh, you've been doing some mentoring for middle schools and giving back to the community. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. I've been doing mentorship for the past year. with. Perry Middle School and pretty much uplifting these kids, these at-risk kids that are, some of the family members are involved in gangs, drugs, and negativity. And a lot of them just had an option of just becoming a rapper or a basketball player or just hustling as an option to make the career choices. But I changed the whole motive. I made them think of positive, thought about thinking about a second plan in life, having a sales experience and customer service, having them give them choices that yes, they can become presidents, yes, they can become lawyers, Yes, they can become engineers or journalists or advisors or councilmen. Things that we need in this life. We need more leaders and less followers. For sure, for sure. And with that said, they were ready to go to college and take the next step. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's, and it's super kind of you to give back in that sort of way. So um, why don't you just uh, tell us where you see yourself being over the next couple of years? I see that you have something here discussing here that you're a motivational speaker. Absolutely. What my future plans is to go to colleges, charity events, and basically uplift some of these students, also corporate, and basically teaching them about time management, how to actually proceed and pursue their dreams. Also, I want to teach people how to learn how to communicate better, speak properly, and also give that, that confidence which a lot of us lock in today's society. So those are some of the fundamentals I actually want to teach. And for the future, I see myself as basically a host, having my own talk show on PBS. Similar to Travis Smiley, interviewing a lot of motivational people, a lot of people that have left their stepping stones in the world. That's amazing. That's awesome. So soon we'll hopefully be seeing you on that. I'm sure we will be. Yeah. Um, I also see that your website says that uh, you have some articles about success for tomorrow's future, the three Ps, passion, purpose, and pursuit. So why don't you uh, give us a feedback about that? Absolutely. You know, a lot of people that want to pursue any type of dreams they have, they only have passion. They don't have pursuit, they don't have purpose. And that's when they run on the gas, and that's when things don't happen for themselves. So I gotta say that a lot of people, whatever you're trying to pursue in life, you have to have a three piece, or else you're just gonna give up. Great, great. Um, it looks like also you're coming out with uh, some kind of a book. Do you wanna talk about that? Absolutely. The ebook is called Live Free Your Dreams, and it's basically having three, five, five chapters. Some of them are time management, talk about shattered dreams, talk about inspiring your mind, and how to get rid of depression in a better format. So it's really an uplifting book that actually helps you from getting from point zero to point fifty-two in no time. It's a short book, about 20 pages or so. Okay, great. When does it, when does it come out and uh, how, much, how much will it cost? Absolutely. The book will be $5. It will be on Amazon early next year. And the proceeds, some of the proceeds will be going to the childfund.org. Pretty much giving back to our less unfortunate because there's a lot out there that needs some of this healing and, and, and money to help them with their success in life. That's great. Great way to give back as well. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to tell the folks out there? 
I would say we need to reach out to our youth because they're definitely stuck in this mindset that you, you, you're not nowhere just because of your situation, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your family upbringing, but yes, there's a way out. And I would definitely want to mentor them and actually motivate them to make a better tomorrow. That's great. Do check out, you know, inspireyourmind.org. Um, sign up for the newsletter, post some comments, and uh, thanks for your time, Annie. That was great. Absolutely. Bye, everyone.